Today we will discuss about integrated coconut and fish farming system. If you watch this video till the end, you can understand how to triple your income from your existing land. So watch this video till the end. Hi friends. Welcome to the Discover Agriculture YouTube channel. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe now. Let's begin the video. Coconut Farming The coconut palm is referred to as Kulpavriksha, the tree of heaven, as each and every part of the palm is useful to mankind in one way or other. It provides food, drink, fuel, and timber. With good farm management practices farmers can achieve maximum yield and decent profit as well. Coconut is cultivated in more than 93 countries of the world and Indonesia, Philippines, and India are the major producing countries in the world. Fish Farming Fish is one of the favorite items on the food menu of almost 60% of Indians. So market demand is always high for fish items. If we consider the global demand also, the total requirement becomes very high. The main source of fish is from the sea. But the global fish harvest from the sea is decreasing rapidly. The only way we can ensure the availability of fish to meet increasing demand is through fish farms. Inland freshwater fish plays a major role here. With a good business plan and decision, we can convert this opportunity into a successful small-scale farm. Integrated Coconut and Fish Farming Integrated farming is a whole farm management system that aims to deliver more sustainable agriculture. Integrated farming combines modern tools and technologies with traditional practices according to a given site and situation, often employing many cultivation techniques in a small growing area. Coconut requires plenty of water. So canal irrigation system in coconut farming was getting popular. Already so many farmers adopted this technology. If farmers integrate fish farming with coconut farming, then they can get a good profit. In canals, they can grow fish very easily. At first canals and beds are made with the help of an excavator. In the bed, you can plant coconut plants. In between those plants, you can plant pineapples as well. So, you can get much more profit. Then rear fish in the canal water. Selection of fish breeds the selection of fish breeds plays a major role in the sustainability of the business. The decision should be based on market demand, maintenance point of view, availability of the resource, effective utilization of resources, etc. Carp items such as catla, rohu, grass carp, common carp, etc. are suitable for Indian ponds. Other breeds such as tilapia, catfish, etc. are also cultivated in Indian ponds. Polyculture Growing two or more fish breeds in the same pond is the suitable strategy for the optimum utilization of resources. You can get quality baby fishes from the nearest fish farmer or from the fisheries department. Bottom line. This is how you can integrate fish farming with coconut farming. Grow some other crops in between coconut plants. So that you can produce more food from a small area, at the same time you can earn more profit from your existing land. Hope you like this video. Share this video with all your friends and don't forget to subscribe Discover Agriculture YouTube channel for more informative videos like this. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.